Hello, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman po si Yuri Saito to learn with me, brand ambassador ng World of Feng Shui and Business Associate. Ano ngayon ang ating pag-aaralan? Kung, kung ano ang maidudulot ng mga puno sa ating buhay according to Feng Shui rules. Okay? Kailangan marunong tayong mamili ng mga puno for good feng shui. A tree is a great feng shui friend and tool. Okay? These are one of nature's ways of protecting us as they grow. Diba? Iyan, tandaan ninyo yan. Kailangan alamin ninyo. And their leaves absorb atmospheric poison that could be harmful to us. So, but most of all, trees, when used properly, can bring a great deal of good fortune or good luck to any home as long as they are planted according to good feng shui, godliness, and are well taken care of. So, here are a few points to remember about trees in your garden and around the home. Una, trees can provide a protective Barrier between a busy main road, pwede yan, okay, and your home. If you live on busy uh, thoroughfare, consider planting trees to block the traffic noise, ayan, and activity. Halawa, planting some trees behind your home not only blocks out poison arrows, maganda rin yan, but gives you home support. Bali, yun ang magiging tortoise mo, yung back mo. So, kung naglagay ka ng, ng trees or elevated yung land mo, nandito ka, tapos ano, elevated yung, yung, yung anong tawag dito, yung uh, likod mo, na ano, mas mataas yung likod, ng, ano, parang uh, yun yung landscape ng inyong uh, likod, that is also a support. Okay? Note that it is best if your trees are grown some way back from your house. Kailangan sa likod. Ngayon, when trees are planted, planted li lining both sides of the main entrance, okay, it ensures that precious energy can enter your house. Dito, both sides, okay, sa main door. Diyan, dito. Ngayon, uh, if, you, if your house is right beside hill, beside a hill on one side, dito mas mataas o kaya dyan mas mataas, Planting a tree will shield it from harm. Totoo yun. Okay. Now, wherever you decide to plant, kahit saan, the trees around your home, don't plant them too near the actual house of their immense growth energy will overwhelm it. Ngayon, never plant a tree directly in front of your main door. Main door. Kasi nga, ano, dyan nga yung, ano eh, nandyan nga yung pera eh. Lahat ng ano, lahat ng entrance, yan ang, uh, nandyan ang pera. Kasi yan ang entrance mo. Diyan manggagaling ang pera. O, oh, diyan magpapasbay ang pera. I mean, dahil yan ang mouth ng bahay. So, take care of the, ano, uh, never plant a tree direct, direct in front of your main door as auspicious chi energy cannot enter. So, Wherever you decide to plant the trees around your home, don't plant them too near actual your house or their immense growth energy will overwhelm it. Yan yung sinabi ko kanina. So ngayon, the back and east side are best for tree, ano, tree growth. Bakit? Ang east is ano, wood energy yan. That is a wood energy. So ngayon, uh, kailangan natin uh, i-balance ang lahat. So take care of your trees. Prune them regularly. Kailangan ano, uh, uh, alagaan nyo yan. So, uh, so that their growth is controlled and they, and they maintain a beautiful appearance. So choose varieties that appeal to you but make sure the varieties and plantings are in balance. Now, naituro ko tungkol sa inyo ang mga, ano, mga puno. Punta tayo kay Goddess Tara. Sino si Goddess Tara? Goddess Tara is um, uh, a wishful feeling Tara. Ano, pag nag-ano ka sa kanya, 
uh, if you chant uh, her mantra, Om Tare to Tare to Resowa, in one Malabis, ibig sabihin, yung mga wishes mo will be granted. Kailangan talaga, ano ka, um, anong tawag dito, um, focus ka, or yung iyong wish is talagang uh, gusto mong mangyari. Okay? Connect with the goddess Tara. Kasi siya si Swift Liberator. Uh, Tara is the Swift Liberator. Ayan, meron ako si Tara, meron din ako dyan. And there are 108 emanations of her form. 108. Okay? Eto, meron tayong chant a, chant a mantra kung gusto ninyo. Libre po namin binibigay itong I have uh, ako lang po at yung mga ano yung mga business associate ng uh, World of Feng Shui can have this as much as we could and then ano pinamimigay po namin ito. Libre po itong ano binibigay ng World of Feng Shui pero eto kung talagang gusto ninyo I can I, I can I I can give you one. She's not just a green in color but manifest in it in red, yellow, orange, white, blue, and black. So seven colors in all. Seven seven sila. She can take on a compassionate or warmful form and can have two arms or ten. Mother Tari is both compassions, compassionate and kind and sets no conditions to sending you help when you are in need. She is a Buddha, an enlightened being in female form, kumbaga sa atin, uh, kumbaga dito sa, um, anong tawag dito sa Christianity, si Mother Mary siya, okay? Um, she is also described as manifestations of the goddesses of India, ayan, as protectors and mother of all the Buddhas. Siya yung nanay ng lahat ng Buddha. So, known as the swift liberator, siniswift na niya lahat sa positive, okay? Ano, Tara is very quick to respond to help. And is also the da deity attending to most worldly requests like wishes for a better life. More prosperity to get rich, meron yan. God, ano, Golden Tara, Goddess of Wealth, meron ako. Ayun, nandun siya. So, uh, recover from an illness, have a baby, things like uh, this considered to be important in this worldly life. So, to make a connection with this cosmic uh, goddess, Tara, I goddess, you do not uh, need to become a Buddhist. Hindi mo kailangan maging Buddhist ka. But you, uh, you do need to create enough good karma. Okay? Hindi natin kailangan mag, mag, ano, maging Buddhist tayo. We can make it. Okay? Without, uh, ano, uh, without being a Buddhist. Dahil ako hindi po ako Buddhist. So, this means living a generous and thoughtful life. Being a good person and helping and thinking of others instead of yourself. Mm -hmm. Recite the 10 syllables mantra of Goddess Tara and make a strong, sincere wish to connect with her. Ask her for help to find a way to learn more about the cosmic realms. And for help in deepening your own spiritually and connection with her. Ito na yung ano, Taras Mantra. The Green Tara Mantra. Om Tare Tut Tare Ture Soha. 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 Kahit naliligo kayo, kahit naglalakad kayo, pwede ninyong i-chantyaan. Okay? Tapos yung gusto ninyong mangyari sa buhay ninyo, i-wish ninyo. Because Goddess Tara, nasubukan ko po siya. Tara has helped ano, many people. Me too. Lahat. There is no need to tell anyone about your relationship with Tara if you prefer to keep it a secret. Once you make the connection and even if it is only in your heart, she will begin to guide you. Totoo yan. Maraming magpapatotoo. Let her take you to the inner realms of your spirit and you may be surprised of what transpires in your life. So, dito na po nagtatapos ang aking to learn with me about Goddess Tara and kung ano ang maidudulot ng, uh, ng mga puno sa buhay natin. 
sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel. Mag-subscribe na po kayo. Marami pa po tayong matututunan. Dahil marami pang ituturo ang aking Grandmaster Lillian 2 sa atin. Na, eto naman, ibino voice out ko sa inyong lahat. Ano, free na uh, itinuturo ko sa inyo kung ano ang mga do's and don'ts about being uh, being a progress uh, uh, be, being successful into your life kasi lahat yung mga nilalagay natin sa ating mga mga ano mga bahay sa paligid natin meron po yan connection sa ating success nagpapasalamat ako dahil uh, marami akong natutunan tungkol sa feng shui feng shui is not about religion ha dapat tandaan niyo yan Feng shui is not about religion. Feng shui is about energy. We are calculating numbers. So, religion is about God. So, don't be, ano, we must not be, ano, uh, mis, ano mislead or uh, mistaken about the, the, uh, the energies and about God. Because I, myself, believe in God. Nagsisimba po ako. MWFS, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Hindi po, ko po namimiss yan. So, God, ano, um, put God first into your life para mag, ma, ma, ano, ma, uh, maging uh, matiwasay o uh, yung flow ng buhay ninyo ay, ano, smooth. Wala kayong aalalahanin. You will never fear no one if you believe in God. Ako po si Yuri Saito na nagsasabing hate what is evil and hold on to what is good. Do not let evil defeat you. Instead, conquer evil to good. Ano, subscribe na po kayo. Bye-bye! Thank you!